Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Uh, I talk about technology stuff. I talk about IT, DevOps, uh, and building a career uh, in those things in the channel. But I also talk about tech generally and open source and freedom and you know stuff along those lines. Uh, and that's more along the lines of what I want to talk about today. Um, today, what I want to talk about is a, a recent video uh, from DT on DistroTube. Um, if you're not familiar with the, uh, the, the channel, um, he's on YouTube, he's on Library, on Odyssey, um, a, a large Linux presenter um, person. Um, he has been um, uh, basically kicked off of a Macedon instance. And I wanted to talk about this, and I want to talk about it for, for a couple different reasons. Um, the first one is, is, is basically the, the reason why he was kicked off. So the reason why he was kicked off of this uh, particular Macedon instance, and if you're not familiar with Macedon, Macedon is like a federate, federated version of Twitter. Uh, basically, there's a, uh, a protocol uh, similar to sort of like how email works. There's a protocol for Macedon. And people or organizations or groups will run Macedon services. Um, so, you know, if you want to follow me, for example, it's um, Nick Bernstein, I believe, at Macedon.social. I've got it somewhere. I think it's may even be on the bottom of my... Let me pull this up over here, transition back. It may even be at the bottom of my screen. Uh, no, looks like it's not, but... I've got it somewhere. I've got a Macedon account. I don't use it very much because I, I try to stay away from social media uh, a bit. Uh, but DT was using a, uh, a Macedon server and he uh, made a recent video about the uh, sort of a number of thoughts. And one of the things that he talked about was his, uh, his opinion that he did not believe that Donald Trump was a white supremacist. And uh, because of that, he was kicked off of the Macedon server that he was, was on. Now, from what I understand and what he mentioned in the video, it was a, seemed to be a very polite kicking off. Uh, the person said, I'd I want you to, to, to leave the server. His account wasn't like terminated. Um, and, you know, he was able to migrate his content, migrate his um, history from Macedon to a new server that he set up called um, DistroTute. Um, Macedon does toots instead of tweets. So, you know, worked, uh, worked well. So I uh, wanted to talk about this for, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one being something that I don't generally bring up in my, my videos because it's frankly irrelevant for the vast majority of, of my content, uh, which is that I'm, I'm Jewish. Um, so uh, I'm not practicing, but I, I'm of Jewish descent. And my grandfather was bodily thrown onto a boat um, in order to escape the Nazis in Poland. Um, and all the rest of his family, aside from his nine-year-old older brother, uh, were murdered um, by actual white supremacists. So I think I, I can talk about white supremacy a little bit more comfortably than a lot of people can't. A lot of people who are, you know, of the paler complexion, let's say, um, are a little bit worried about, <laughs> you know, um, getting themselves into some trouble when talking about this. And uh, because I have, you know, historical relationship with the, you know, with white supremacy and, um, you know, my family has been directly affected by that. My father was also a civil rights lawyer. Uh, I feel like I can, I can speak to this without getting in, into uh, trouble on it. And the, um, the thing that I'd like to put across is that saying you do not believe somebody is a white supremacist is very, very, very different than advocating for white supremacy. Even if that person, in fact, is a white supremacist. Being wrong doesn't make you a terrible person. And as far as I know, and, you know, please feel free to give evidence otherwise, uh, but as far as I know, Derek from DistroTube has never been accused 
of being a white supremacist. Now, this is the internet, and people can just make accusations, but as, as far as I understand, there's no idea or issue or, 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 or position being posited by anybody saying that Derek himself is a white supremacist. And because of this, I think this is a really bad decision on the part of the person who kicked them off of their, their Masson instance. Now, again, being Masson, this doesn't really end up being that big of a deal, right? Um, he can go ahead and take his history and he can upload it to his Mastodon server and he's back in business, just like with email. Uh, but he still had a, um, an address, effectively, um, that he spent time and effort building up and directing people to. And now that's no longer going to be able to be used. And that sucks. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, a, not, not a good thing. Um, so the, the, the other thing I want to talk about is that this is something that happens quite a bit. Um, it's not unique to, to Derek. Um, and in fact, I think in, in one respect, Derek is, is a little bit guilty of this himself um, with the, the opinion on Richard Stallman. So um, Derek called for Richard Stallman to be removed uh, from his position at MIT in the Free Software Foundation. Um, and the, the, the reason for this is Richard Stallman defended his colleague and mentor, who had since passed away, uh, who had been accused of um, associating with uh, Epstein. Um, and I think that there was, there was an accusation of rape um, or something along those lines. And Richard Stallman basically said, you know, he's dead, he's not here to defend himself. I do not believe that there is any evidence to indicate that he was a rapist uh, or you know a bad person or, or whatever it was. I don't remember the exact details of it, and I don't want to, you know, try to, uh, you know, directly quote uh, the, the 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 statements by Stallman. But they were they were to that effect. He was defending his 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 friend. Defending someone is markedly different than being accused of that thing yourself. No one at any point ever, to my understanding, and if I'm wrong, again, please feel free to correct me, um, no one to my understanding ever accused Richard Stallman of being a rapist himself. That I don't believe that was ever on the table. Um, I don't believe that there was any ever accusations of Richard Stallman associating with Epstein himself. So defending somebody is a very, very, very different thing than being that thing yourself. Even if in that situation, you know, evidence came to light where the person that Stallman was defending, in fact, was a rapist. It's still okay to defend your, your friend. It's still okay to de defend him or to say that you have an opinion that somebody is not something or that you have not suitably been convinced to that effect. Because... In fact, I don't think that, that Derek ever said specifically that, that Trump is not that thing. He just said that he does not believe it. And from a, a, a perspective of skepticism, that's fine. If you, if you have not, in your opinion, received sufficient evidence of something, the correct thing to do is not to believe it. That's fine. That doesn't mean that he could not be convinced, presented more evidence that Donald Trump is a white supremacist. Also, and I'll go on the, you know, forefront, I'll, I'll put my hand up and say this. I don't feel that I've uh, seen sufficient evidence that I can definitively say that Donald Trump is a white supremacist. I do think that there are strong indications that he is a bigot. Um, you know, some of the early stuff where he, you know, um, um, did not want to rent out property to, to black people. There were multiple accusations of that. Um, there were the, um, um, the Central Park Five, I think it was. He was very vehement on that. Uh, he's made statements that are ambiguous about um, Barack Obama. Um, there's a number of things that indicate that he could potentially be bigoted. Um, from his politics, he certainly does um, dog whistle and say some things that can be 
um, um, interpreted um, as support potentially by people like white supremacists. I, I don't think he's been good in this regard uh, in terms of very clearly denouncing um, uh, white supremacy. I think, certainly think he could do it better. But I don't think that we can clearly, or at least myself, I don't, I don't think I've seen definitive evidence that he is a white supremacist. Now, I will say I did not vote for Donald Trump. I do not like Donald Trump. Um, I, you know, uh, I have very different politics than, than Donald Trump. And uh, I, I was um, glad when he was not reelected. Um, but I don't think that somebody having an opinion that he is not a white supremacist is grounds for them to be punished. Uh, I don't think that there is any reason why somebody who has that opinion should be removed from the discourse. I think if you believe Donald Trump is a white supremacist and somebody doesn't believe that, your job at that point is to produce evidence, produce argument that is convincing enough to change that person's mind. And that's how we need to deal with each other. I think we've gotten incredibly polarized because as soon as we don't agree with somebody, the conversation is cut off. And that's not a good thing. I I imagine that a lot of my opinions and DT's opinions are very, very, very different. Uh, We live in different parts of the world. We have different backgrounds. That's common sense. I, 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 I imagine a lot of the things that we look at in the world, we will come to different opinions on. And that's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. DT is a spokesman for free software, right? That's his whole gig. He is political about one issue, and that's open source. I know a lot of the people who watch my channel and watch his channel think of open source as a mainstream idea, a mainstream concept. It is not. It is an unusual thing for someone to advocate for. It's a fringe, marginal position. Now, businesses and such like it because it doesn't cost them anything, but when we're talking about Libra, right, when we're talking about software that is open source and uh, free code and the freeze in speech, not beer sentiment, companies generally don't care about that. They care about the freeze in beer part. They don't have to pay server licenses. That's what they care about, right? So DT, by definition, is someone with unusual opinions on things, right? <laughs> he cares enough about this issue to have set up a, a YouTube channel and talk about it and invest huge amounts of time and effort into advocating for free software. By definition, he's a weird guy. Cut him some slack. If he wasn't weird, he wouldn't be doing that. Like, and I think that anybody who cares about open source and cares about these things is glad to have somebody who is going to spend time and effort um, at their own expense. If you looked at DT's setup, go watch one of his videos. Um, you know, this microphone cost me, I think, 450, 500 bucks. I've got a preamp. I've got um, a digital audio converter. I've got a, a, a noise thing effects that that removes lisping sounds and stuff like that from my voice. I probably spent 600 bucks on my audio setup and it is nothing compared to the Derek's. Like you look at the background of his videos, he must have spent a small fortune on his setup. He's got like, you know, fancy cameras and like he's got a, you know, super impressive computer that he uses to to, to go do these videos on. This man has invested a lot of his own you know, time, effort, and money into being an open source advocate. And he's done a really good job at it. He's one of the more popular channels uh, on YouTube, on uh, Library, on Odyssey. Um, He's got a really big reach and he helps people who are new to Linux and new to open source come into the fold. And to penalize him because he has a different opinion is not right. It's, it's, It's the bad you know, it's a bad way to go. 
Now, I'm not saying that the person who made this decision is a bad person, and I hope that anybody who watches this this video does not go after that person or send them nasty grams or whatever it is. Uh, but what I do think is, you know, um, a ping DT. Uh, I think it's it's Derek on uh, Distro Toot. Um, so if you you know find him there, let me go pull up a browser. I'll see if I can go find the actual site. Let me switch over here. Distrotute. Distrotute.com. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be Derek at Distrotute.com. Um, you know, send him a message. Like, if you're out there being like, hey, I don't think you're a white supremacist or like <laughs> something that's nice and supportive. Um, being accused of a white supremacist has got to be, you know, being a white supremacist is going to be awful. Um, it's, you know, not, I'm sure not a fun thing. So, you know, um, reach out to them, send them some love, that kind of thing. Don't go after the person who kicked them off, right? Don't do that. And then the other thing that I think is worth noting about, and feel free to go back and watch his video on the subject because I think it's, it's you know, uh, quite good, is the idea that Federated services like Mastodon are really, really, really useful uh, because they prevent people from being kicked off and being deplatformed altogether. Um, you know, if this was Twitter and the people running Twitter had the same opinion of the people running the server that he was on and kicked him off, well, he would no longer be able to, you know, reach people on the internet. Uh, now what he's done is he's created a new Mastodon server called DistroToot and he's back up and, and running and in the business. So that's a um, that's an incredibly useful thing. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't really have anywhere to, to kind of go and, and kind of finalize this, uh, this this video and kind of finish things up. Uh, it's just a quick one. Uh, it's just something that I, I felt like I should uh, talk about a little bit because I'm, I'm somebody who's in a position where I don't think I would get in trouble uh, for this, um, you know. Uh, pretty progressive with my politics. Um, you know, I'm on the, the left side of the spectrum. Um, I've got a, a, a history where my family has been directly affected by uh, white supremacy. Uh, my father was a, you know, civil rights lawyer. Um, you know, uh, I'm not really worried about people coming after me as a white supremacist because it doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty insulated from that. Uh, accusation out of all the accusations what Mike could make. Um, so I felt like it's something I could talk about. And, you know, if I see somebody being accused of something unjustly, uh, for whatever reason, I have a weird switch that says, you know, I should talk about it. Uh, especially if I'm in a position where I'm not going to be persecuted or I'm not going to be penalized or I'm not going to be hurt by standing up for that thing. So, um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to, to Derek on DistroTube uh, already, uh, go check out his library or his YouTube channel. And, um, yeah, send him some love because I'm sure that being accused uh, of being a supporter of white supremacy or being a white supremacist is a unpleasant thing to have happen to you. So take care. Hope this didn't hurt anybody's feelings. If it did, I'm sorry, but you're a grown-up. <laughs> You'll get over it. Uh, take care. See you in the next one.